In this video, CarpalTunnelGadgets.com will teach you how to properly massage your forearms to relieve pain in your carpal tunnel. You can grab a massage oil or lotion as it will be helpful especially if your skin is dry. Once you have it, you just need to sit down, relax and let's get to it. First, get a small amount of lotion on your palm and apply it on your forearms on all sides. Then rest your forearm you want to massage on your lap or you can get a pillow if you think you need one. This is so the muscles will be more relaxed instead of it hanging which makes it more tense. You can perform the following massage to a partner however the advantage of self massage is you have a better feeling of how much pressure you can do and receive and avoid getting hurt. So again, lay rest your arms on your lap and start by using the opposite hand's bottom part of your palm and gliding it from the upper side of the flexor muscles and going down to the wrist. Do this about 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Repeat the same on the left side of the flexor. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And on the right as well. This specific technique loosens up the muscle fibers, which we will need later so we can apply pressure on the trigger points on your flexor muscles. Trigger points are spots of muscle contractions located near the endpoints of muscle fibers. These are the most sensitive part of your muscles and when they tighten up, it results to inflexibility and can lead to injury. So now we are going to try to reverse that. Use your thumb and perform a circular motion in this area which is the left upper side of your flexor muscles. From here count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Do the same circular motion in this trigger point at the upper right side of your forearm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Remember, if the pain becomes unbearable, decrease the pressure or stop immediately and rest. Last trigger point to massage is at the top left side of the wrist at the pinky finger side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once done, use the massaging hand's fingers to slide down your forearms like so and back up from your wrist to the upper flexor using these four fingers. Again, apply pressure and slide down where the thumb presses on the left side of the flexor and the four fingers on the right. And back up again. This technique is to realign those tendons and muscles and keep the blood flowing smoothly. Repeat the same motion 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Next procedure is to apply pressure by doing a semi-closed fist and using these hard portions of between the joints of your fingers and pressing them down on top of your extensor muscles starting from the upper area of the forearm. Perform a circular motion using these fingers like so for three counts. One, two, three and then move to the center of your extensor and repeat the same movement. One, two, three, and lastly just above the wrist. One, two, three. Then just like earlier with your flexor, use the front side of your fingers to slide down your extensor, applying pressure on the sides, from the upper portion down on the wrist. Now repeat the semi-closed fist technique. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And finish off with a slide. Do this for 10 times. The pain on your carpal tunnel can be found in the flexor side, so it makes sense to massage this area. However, you will also want to massage the extensor as well as everything is connected. The stiffness on the back can cause stiffness on the sides, then stiffness or injury at the front and so on. Once done on the massage, wrap up by applying pressure on your palm like so with a circular motion. And finally, some slight squeeze on your fingertips. This is where your nerves end and are most sensitive to touch. This is to activate and wake them up from the numbness due to carpal tunnel syndrome. You can do this massage anytime you feel like it as long as you are not hurting yourself. Your body has the capacity to heal itself, just remember to rest, have a balanced diet, and get some sunshine for that vitamin D. Please hit like, subscribe, and click the bell button for more exercises and tips for a better carpal tunnel, better you.